Let's talk about the L.A. Chargers now, and they are visiting the Oakland Raiders. Um, Chargers are favored by 10 points. Are the Chargers as good as they look, and are the Raiders as bad as they look? Yes and yes. Okay. Yes and yes. I think the Chargers really are as good as they look, and yes, I think the Raiders, I think the Raiders, if it's possible, if they're even worse than we, we realize. <laughs> Uh, they're that bad. You know, the Raiders, we could, there's a lot of a d- debate this year is who the worst team in the National Football League is. I think it is the Raiders because, you know, the Buffalo Bills are bad, but they, you know, their players are trying. You know, like Arizona are bad, but their guys, you know, they're just not that good. The Raiders aren't trying. Like you have a coach who is openly trying to lose football games and he can say he is at all he wants. It's pretty evident that he is. And now the players, they don't want to play for Gruden. And, you know, when people think, oh, a team is tanking, so what do you think? Do you think a coach goes into the room and tells everyone, listen, guys, we want to get a bunch of high draft picks so we can replace you. We're going to draft the player that plays your position. So can you please not try tonight? And, oh, yeah, we're going to let you go at the end of the year because we're drafting a bunch of new kids. But, you know, we're going to tank, and, you know, we want you to tank on Phil so you won't be able to get another job after. You know, we always hear about athletes tanking. No athlete tanks. But I tell you what, coaches do. General managers do. We saw he wouldn't even put Urban in a damn football game. Gruden is trying to actively lose football games. And I thought to myself, well, you know what? It's it's Monday night football. He's He's got to show up for this game. Or it's a division rival. Or he doesn't want to get embarrassed. Evidently, he doesn't care about getting embarrassed. So I have a hard time not laying the points here uh, with the Chargers. It's not in my DNA to want to do this. Uh, but I think the Raiders are that bad, and I think the uh, the Chargers are going to blow them out. Ten points is a pretty high number, but the Chargers are highly motivated, unlike the Raiders, who seem like the complete opposite. And don't forget, that's it. You know, Marie, the, the Chargers are motivated. It's a good point that you raised. They're motivated for a playoff. Um, exactly. Not just a playoff berth, but potentially home field. They only yeah. have two losses, and their loss was to the Chiefs and the Rams. Yeah. I'm not saying that they're there. Their AFC conference favorites, or they can knock off New England. uh, They can knock off Kansas City, but they can. I think this is a different Charger team. They're getting Bosa's back. They're going to get healthier. Normally at this time of the year, the Chargers are in a desperate state. we got to win games and try to get the wild card and tiebreaker, this and that. Chargers are are a good football team and dangerous moving forward. Well, the playoff berth is really the main thing. They were on the brink last year. They've been close in years past, and they have the talent to do it. They don't want to mess around.